morning welcome to the July vlog today would have been the first day in my um, new lease in this apartment I have extended my lease by one year and because I have done it I just thought you know I could have been elsewhere but I chose to stay here and so I just want to breathe new life into my apartment so what time is it now it is 1.40. I was meant to meet my sister because now we are allowed to, to meet in a little bubble. So, no, it's been a few weeks now that you can meet in a bubble. But now it's, it's pretty much um, easy to go with two households, even if it's not a bubble. Anyway, I spent a little bit of time reorganizing this section. Because I was thinking initially that I wanted maybe to have my um, desk to work over there. And then um, have this area, which is currently my desk, actually for my table. But then I thought, no, I actually really, really like the setup like this. And um, I spent a little bit of time, you know, rejigging the bits and trying to see where to put what. And I think this way it looks nice when I just step in into the room. And then whenever I want to eat, I can just sit there and put the vase on the on the book. And it doesn't disturb the, the look. Uh, I still need to clean this bit a little bit. Um, then I have my my um, living room is going to stay the same. I'm just waiting to receive my desk. By the way, I received my chair. It took two months, uh, over two months, but I eventually received it. I'm very happy about it. The desk is, as of now, over a month late, and I still have no news of when I get it. And I told them, look... If it gets delayed a third time, I'd rather just get it refunded by my desk as elsewhere. And this is something I got yesterday from Dyson. This is an air purifier because I noticed I have been getting very, very sick recently. Uh, not the kind of sick where you kind of have a flu or something, but I have a thing where when it's really extremely hot, my, my hair is leaking because I'm just out of the shower. When it's extremely hot, I tend to, to have a... Um, a bit of a uh, minor heart issues and then I get really really sick and tired um, and then usually I also have a migraine it happens two or three times in a row because every time I would have two or three days of extreme heat like 30 35 degrees and then back to like normal normal uh, weather so I thought I would use this because I I suffered a lot in the days that I got sick this is the mess in my room. I haven't organized this yet, but I did iron my shirts. Um, the problem is that I have a one temperature iron. It's this one from Russell Hobbs. It's not the best, but it does its work. So I have ironed all my shirts. I get tons of compliments on this one from Suzanne. Every time I wear it, people comment on it. Yeah, sorry about the sports cars. Now that there is less traffic, they're just going crazy. Um, they just enjoy the fact that they don't have a lot of um, a lot of uh, um, control, I guess, because people are busy with everything else. Uh, so that is that. I think in the next two or three weeks, I will get my desk and then I will organize this area. It will be a much smaller one, but it will be very contained. And I want this to be my work area. I'm going to push this a little bit closer so that I extend my living area until the end of the rug. And then I can pull this little poof down there. At some point, I'm going to need to clean my Birkenstock. So I have all my Birkenstocks out. Of, uh, I mean, just I have two. But um, yeah, I got my only two pairs out. And uh, I had my groceries. I got them delivered. I managed to get a slot. And they woke me up, but it's fine. And then I did my um, a load of dishwasher. I don't have many dishes, but it's because I did a bit of a, I wouldn't call it meal prep, but yesterday I cooked uh, a bit of lamb and I, I made a big enough portion because it's slow cooked. So it took about three hours to cook and I had four portions out of it. I ate one of them yesterday and I have the three others in the, in the fridge because what I'm trying to do now is to, is to have a little bit of a, uh, go to stuff so that I don't have to to run whenever I have to get food uh, It's going to be an in Impressively busy week. So all of this section Like here and here 
is where I go whenever I don't have time to cook, except, except this thing. Um, so here I have uh, my little lamb pieces with a bit of gravy. I have some little harsha, which is like a cornbread. Uh, this is mostly for breakfast in the morning, and then I have a cake that I'm probably going to have this afternoon. And then I have some seafood because it's easy to cook seafood. I have a little chicken that I can just put in the in the. It's already dressed and ready. And then I have seafood here. Seafood is the easiest thing that I eat. Um, even if I had the lamb, I don't actually eat much lamb. I just had it, but it would be probably the last time. It's because it was still from the time when I had my um, my big shops from when we had the lockdown and everything was was out of stock. So I bought whatever I could buy. But now that I can buy again some of the things that I usually get, I'm going to get a lamb anymore. So yeah, I'm going to unload the dishwasher and then I'm going to make uh, something we call bisara, which is a soup. I need to get these. Hold on. Uh, I'm so short. So these are split fava beans. And I usually just have this where I'm going to have a, um, a lot of garlic and then some cumin and salt and that's essentially it and i'm going to let it cook until it becomes a very very soft soup and i will make maybe this will probably make three or four portions so i'm going to prepare that for the week this week is going to be pretty pretty intense because um i have lots of um, i have two workshops and we have the appraisals meetings where which is about a four hour straight meeting where you just talk and talk and talk to do a calibration for uh, our colleagues um, and then we decide on who get promote who gets promoted etc etc so it's a very intense meeting and right after that I finish at 1 p.m. I have another three hours straight in, of a workshop that I'm leading and that I need to finish the, the material for and um, it's just going to be a lot of work so today is Sunday and um, I'm going to just uh, organize my apartment as much as possible because I really, I know when I have weeks like that, that it's going to be quite intense. Uh, my area of where I live and how it looks, etc., every detail matters. And so I'm going to prepare a little bit of stuff so that I'm ready. I also got bagels uh, because then in the morning I can wake up and just put a bit of almond butter and some honey and uh, and a banana. My bananas are not ripe yet. I also got apples so that I can snack. The the four the four hour meeting plus three hour workshop uh, is going to be quite rough because it's seven hours nonstop, and uh, I'm probably gonna try to eat a few things in the morning meeting because in the workshop I'm the one talking and moderating and everything remotely. So it's going. I don't have time to do anything. So once I do that, I'm going to unload the dishwasher and I was thinking of doing something in my hair. So I just showered, I moisturized my body, which is very rare, but I, I, I like to do that every now and then. And um, I have a, a simple mask in my, in my hair. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. And I don't feel like, like doing anything with my hair, but I'm too lazy to style it. So I might just do maybe four small braids like that and a little mini twists and call it a day. Um, all of my hair at the front is falling off because I have all these baby hairs. Ugh, it's annoying. But I have a haircut in a month, in a few weeks. So it's in August. Um, and then I can cut it off and start over. Mm-hmm. 
That's my soup being made. Um, I'm going to clean this very quickly, wipe it, and then I have a bit of flour um, up there. So I'm just going to get a, a little uh, stool. need to get up. Yeah, this one doesn't match, but oh well. Hmm. I have this thing that I had received from one of my unfortunate uh, boxes, and I'm not sure what that is. So just put it in here. Not sure what it is though. Looks like quinoa, but I'm not sure. If anybody can tell me what that is, would be very grateful so that I know how to cook it, because it just arrived in some very in a, like an unmarked container, so I had no idea what it was, and then I just saved it for later. And I, ideally, I want to use up everything that I have in my pantry. As you see, I, I'm still going through some of the stuff that I had gotten. Uh, when I was getting uh, these random groceries from lockdown because you couldn't pick what you would receive So I'm going through these lentils. I'm going through this stuff. This stuff I haven't used honestly because I don't know what it is mm, Yeah My um, I'm getting through stuff. This is expired. I just I didn't figure out how to to cook it And then I have some granola in the back I might need to bring that a bit up front so that I start eating it a bit more. Yeah, actually I might do that, just that because I have noticed that since now I have all of these things um, on display, I'm just using them a lot more because they're top of mind. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this forward so that it's there. 
and then when I see it in the morning I'm just reminded to eat it yeah much much better this way I get through it before it uh, it actually gets too bad because this is already technically expired but eh, I don't mind I'm probably gonna try to eat it this week just to get rid of um, yeah yeah I have started labeling my little containers so every time that I refill them I just label them because the only reason I typically keep the original um, packaging is because it has the use by date which now we have established I don't respect that much but um, I like these better they're less clutter visually and I just made them with a Dymo uh, label maker so I really like that also I am now knowing a little bit more of what I like and what I don't like so I realized that I used paprika quite a lot that was surprising to me so recently I got smoked paprika just to see whether that's also something I would enjoy using also I never realized I used this much uh, turmeric also but fine the rest is doing quite well parsley is something also that I use a lot but I had bought um, something from uh, flying tiger that I need to use to refill so I'm just gonna pop it in here and um, when I move to the next apartment I'm probably going to use these if I have one more probably going to use it but for now I have a year in here so what I'm doing oh that's very very high okay so what I'm doing is uh, I'm designing this apartment as though it was uh, a place that I had just moved to today that's this is why I'm going through all of these details you like all the stuff the containers that I showed you these ones are from Brabantia uh, it's a very very nice brand uh, they're quite an investment and I had to wait for several weeks to get them because they were obviously out of stock uh, but I, I am very happy to have gotten them I think with time I just start having a lot more uh, visibility on to what I'm using what I'm liking so I think my pantry is looking quite quite nice and you would notice I have put these at the same level now so yeah that's that now I'm going to unload my dishwasher and probably ha make something to eat because normally I was meant to go see my sister but that's that's the problem with my sister because um she always starts her day late and she has a very loose sense of time so she doesn't eat the same time that I eat so for instance yesterday she visited to watch uh, an episode on Netflix what did we watch yeah Schitt's Creek but the thing is that I woke up I had breakfast but then when she came I had a second breakfast because she didn't have breakfast which is normally my lunch time and then I had another lunch and then so it just messes up my 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 uh, my um rhythm so this morning I also woke up and I had uh, breakfast but then when I told her when I texted her earlier and I said I'm about to have a shower when do I stop by she said I didn't even go out to buy fish because normally she goes in and she goes to a place to buy fresh fish I don't like to venture out so she might bring me some fish but uh, yeah and that's the thing she said she would go in the morning but she didn't and now it just messes up my whole day so this is like what 2 to 11 so I'm going to have something to eat, otherwise I'm going to be very cranky. What can I eat? I might make a ramen. I love ramen. Did I share my ramen? Ah, oh, I shared my ramen recipe. Oh, there's this one thing that I have. I discovered a website called Sous Chef and they sell proper ramen uh, um, stock. So you can have different ones. I like the one that is uh, soybean and, uh, and uh, spice. So I'm going to make a seafood ramen. So I'm going to use this. This is a stock base. Then I'm going to use some of the cooked seafood. And then I'm going to need... Oh God. <laughs> I'm going to need a pak choy. And where is my spring? Okay, wait. So this is actually my veggies to use up first. So usually I have things that are a little bit older. Later in the day, I think I'm going to bake a couple aubergines into miso. Oh, I don't let me tell you where I got these containers from. They are from Joseph Joseph. Also another very good brand. Um, that's the thing. I 
during this lockdown, after scrambling for a lot of things, I ended up just buying things that are good quality because I realized how, how much difference it makes. Uh, I have two globe artichokes. Oh my god, I might I might make these later. I'm just in such a good mood. <sighs> okay. It's just a struggle because I don't have a lot of space. But I'm going to have some spring onions. I have an old one and I have a new one. So I'm going to use my spring onions. Later on, I'm going to bake these. So what I do is that I, I bake them with, my, with some red miso paste. So, yeah. I'm also thinking of changing these, these little labels and maybe just using transparent ones. What do you guys think? Let me know. Yeah. I, I have an extra one of these because I was meant to give it uh, as a gift to someone who was learning to cook Moroccan food but then I never got to meet them because of the lockdown um, yeah oh and shiitake mushrooms I'm also going to use shiitake mushrooms mm -hmm. and then that is it I might, do I want to add more of these? Hmm, not sure. Do I want to add more mussels? Am I going to add mussels for now? Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have one soft egg. I like my eggs extremely, extremely runny. You'd be shocked to see how runny I make them for my... Oh, I just thought, you know what? I might actually also make some... Um, soy egg for my ramen but maybe not no i have run out of my tiny containers it's one of the, those funny things you know when i when i bought these initially i thought maybe it's too too many and then i just realized i i use them all the time and that's the thing that's when i know that something is so perfect for me because i just love them there is all they they always used up like and I have maybe nine of them or something. I have none in here. There are always some in the wash. There is only one in the wash right now, and that's that's how you know how amazing they are. I have one actually in my in my uh, uh, freezer because it has a, a a sauce. I made a sauce, a spaghetti sauce that I really didn't like, so I'm gonna use that up and uh, and that yeah that's that. But um, I love these tiny containers because. Uh, for example, I'm going to open these mushrooms. Once I open the mushrooms, I'm going to use like, what, four or five of these. Then I put everything else in that box and I can definitely see where it has. Uh, uh, in the thing of the veggies that I need to use up, there was actually also another one of these boxes that had half an onion because yesterday I used an onion. Uh, things like that. They have been so, so, so useful that I just don't regret buying them. Although at first when I got them, I was like, oh, Joseph, Joseph, it's like designer uh, kitchenware and it's so expensive. But I've had a lot of things from Joseph, Joseph, and so far I haven't been disappointed. So I'm very, very happy with that. I'm going to make my ramen because I'm starving. And then I'm going to unload the dishwasher while it's cooking. Oh, it's raining again. Ugh. I think I'm going to end the vlog here, but you guys know what I've been up to in my first weekend of July. Very excited about everything. Very excited to be going slightly back to normal. I've had so many rough, rough, rough weeks. I just needed time to breathe, you know. Um, so now I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this funny thing where, where I'm doing everything with a lot of energy, even when I don't fully have it, because it, it kind of starts the cycle. And by doing things energetically or very mindfully, I end up actually being in that state. So like even for eating, for folding clothes, I do it with such kindness and thinking I'm taking care of myself, I'm taking care of my place, etc., etc. So it does feel quite good. Mm. So yeah, I'm actually too lazy to do my hair. Wild mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
one last thing. Maybe I should do a haul, but I'm not sure. I finally bought these. I have them in my wishes for a, quite some time because my little Gucci's are finally <sighs> going to leave. I've had these for three years and a half, maybe four years. And uh, they've served me really, really well. I've worn them quite a lot. Um, but yeah, it was time for me to get new ones. I contemplated getting new Gucci's because these are the most comfortable sneakers I have ever, ever had in my life. Um, but then, as I was walking to the Gucci store, I stopped by churches and I ended up getting the churches one. I just think they're slightly more discreet than these and um, while I absolutely love them and would not hesitate to buy them if they made them in white I just thought let me give churches a try so this will be my sneakers for the next three years yay okay let's put these back I need to think if there is a way to recycle them or how do I even get rid of these but for now I just put them back in there not to be seen and uh, these, I haven't worn these babies yet because uh, just as I bought them, it started raining. Oh my god, it's raining so much. I know this vlog is messy, but I wanted to post something for the 1st of July to so welcome the new month, although it's raining. <laughs> and uh, just to let you know that I'm back, I'm, I'm happier, I'm extremely tired, but I'm getting my groove back. So that is it for today i know it's a long 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 vlog the next videos are going to be a little bit more structured as i find some time and then we'll do another vlog in a week or two yeah okay take care